What happened? <laughs> that was it. Where, where are we at? I was getting there. <laughs> Can you get up? <laughs> It'd been fine if my support hadn't broken. Oh. On our way to meet up with the boys from Hammock Forums for the uh, Western Washington Midwinter Hang. We were here last year and there wasn't a, there was a little bit more snow when we were here last year. Drug sleds. A little tougher to get around on stuff when you're dragging sleds. Yeah, it's kind of nice not having the sleds this year. It's kind of nice. Less stuff to run into. Considering there's no snow, it's really nice to not have sleds. Absolutely. Yeah. It's pretty out here. We're staying right by the uh, railroad bridge. Uh, we're going to walk under it in a minute. Got to duck real low. A little awkward, but it's all right. Brandon over here. Hey, what else you? Ready? <laughs> That's why I said, okay, this is a good spot. Ready? Ready. Ready? Yeah. All right, Brandon's ready. Now we'll go. See Robert in the background, the camera. A lot of setup involved with this camera work and double walking everything. Walk up, set a camera down, turn it on, walk back, then walk through, pass the camera, pick up the camera. Lots of little bit of camera work involved in this. But when you set them in the snow, they get ice on them, and then you gotta hold them on your hand again. It's too warm to really put your gloves on, so you put them on and just make you sweat. So. Nothing like holding on to frozen uh, tripods when you're walking along, but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot my mini butane stove. So that means I'm stuck to boiling over the fire using cane stove, or uh, I brought the little military tabs to kind of try those out in my Espit stove that I also forgot. So we're batting a bazillion today. It'll be wonderful. Kane, of course, is catch capturing it all. Brought breakfast, my late snack, stuff that can freeze. What about your hot chocolate? Mata, are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. You know it was ready already. It'll be ready in a minute. Ooh. The tea. Yeah. Gotta get my hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Did you just kill all the water? Yep. <laughs> you Congratulations. You suck. Hey, guess what, Robert? What, we need more water? You're gonna go to the river with me here in a little bit. <laughs> so we can boil some water? Boil it? No. Filter. Ah. Oh, yeah, that'll work better. We'll have to filter a bunch of water. Because <laughs> Kane. Hey, you, can you video it and I'll filter it. That sounds like a better idea. <laughs> because I just killed all your water. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out, drinking a little bit of cocoa. Little cocoa. Give a shot of that cocoa. Look at that cocoa. Ooh, cocoa. It's cocoa. <laughs> Can you say go go? Go go. Is that go go? Oh. <laughs> it's go go. It's hot go go. So, what we did here is to try to maximize our space. Kane and I wanted to try 
some experimenting with winter setups. Took the guide gear 12 by 12 and hung it up in its normal formation. And both of us are hanging underneath it right now, side by side. Plenty of room, probably get three hammocks underneath it. It's super easy, it's real nice. Real nice. It's real nice. Super easy, real nice, huh? Say it's super easy. Yeah, nice super easy. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, we're both hung from uh, same set of straps, same car carabiners. Uh, hopefully, it's going to support our weight all night. I've never seen what how much weight those straps are supposed to be able to hold. And we'll he's on the. Cane's over here on this tree. My stuff's over on this next tree here. So I put my coffee down, or my hot chocolate. And then the ridge line for it, the ridge line for it comes up and does a figure eight around both trees here and comes back to, uh, comes back to uh, figure nine cord lock to lock it all in and then a carabiner ties it together right here. I kind of have to fill in the hole so we got one of the rain flies off the Hennessy over here for a door and then we'll do the other side here. We're gonna go for a walk when we get back put the other side on. But yeah one big giant tarp it'll be uh it'll be sweet. Kane's cold. Wants to go hop the creek to see if we can Get into the sun. I gotta make sure I'm running film. So when Kane falls in, did we could have come right there? I don't know. Could have been. Whenever you are. Okay, here's my homemade fire starters. We got wax and uh, sawdust mixed together with lint on top to get going. I'm just gonna tear off a couple of the corners here and see what happens, see if it works. Stick it in the middle here. Close in there. Anybody got light? Matches. Uh, use matches. We got a fire strike this little bit old school. Not really. Going. Something's happening. All right. One match. The uh, the lint also acts as a wick too to kind of soak up the wax once it gets heated. First time I tried it, so. The recipe might need to be changed. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Seems to be doing well. Your tinder's good and dry. Might need a little bit of small tinder on there.
for getting the fire going, Brandon. You tell me about your shoes. <laughs> oh yeah, my uh, boots spring a leak or something because uh, they're soaked all the way through, and so are my socks. So I'm gonna roast them on an open fire here and see if I can't dry them out. And oh yeah, I got my new winter shoes I invented on the spot. <laughs> They uh, keep me dry and warm because I got thick socks in the inside. Double layer of plastic. It's, uh, it's working. It's kind of cold, but it's working. <laughs> so. What do you got going for dinner? Socks do. Socks do? Uh, no, no. Got your socks drying on the line. Perfect little fire. Fire turned out very well. Okay, do the test night, the marmot lithium, zero degree down bag, homemade under quilt, really very inexpensive, well made traveler's hammock, and we're going to see how the night goes, it's going to be about 19, 20 degrees tonight, and uh, I'll let you know tomorrow if it was warm and comfortable. About the time that Robert serves me coffee. <laughs> Robert. What? What are you doing? Well, I'm boiling myself up some water because I like the bottle water trick. Hopefully it turns like What's that. What's the bottle water trick, Robert? It's where you boil up some water and put it in your water bottle when you go to sleep. And I like it for a couple of different reasons. One, I have warm water uh, to drink if I want to drink it. Two, if I get a cold spot, then I can move the water bottle around to that cold spot. Um, and I guaranteed that my water's not frozen in the morning. <coughs> Makes it much easier when everything's not frozen solid at, at night.